Hey, what's up, dev heads? And welcome to Dev Games 3085. Today we will continue our Battle of the Mic series, a gas musical multiplayer game where the audience controls the winner. Today we will prepare a timer to control the pace of the music battle, then we will craft our own custom HUD using gas variables. So sit back and relax and hit that like and subscribe button for more UE5 tutorials. And if you want to see the extended version, feel free to click on the video at the outro. Let's take one, two, three. What's up, dev heads? Today we're gonna continue with the game called Battle of the Mics. So the first thing first, we're gonna open up Unreal Engine 5, the library, let's find the project, Rap Battle, the name. Now when I ended episode two, I incorrectly added the HUD in the wrong spot. So we're gonna start off by putting it in the player controller instead. I'll show you in a minute. Here's the game, you get a quick recap of what I did. Play of a teleporter and it takes you back and it takes you to the stage. Cool. And this should be random, I, I remember now. Uh, teleport you to the red. Now we got teleport to the blue. Perfect. And we did end it up doing a HUD. Okay. So first thing first, let's fix the let's fix the spot where we added the HUD into the game mode. That is not really good practice, so we're gonna end up putting that information to the player controller. So first thing first, we're gonna copy this remove it from the game mode and add it to the player controller because we want this to be created upon creating the player controller see what errors we get upon compile and we got none so that's good yeah this should technically still work the play yep the hud is now showing up for our character now let's see if it shows up for two players perfect everything's showing up let's see if my mic is working testing yep everything's working awesome all right so to start off by making a timer, our game is definitely going to need a timer to control the sessions, all the rap battles or the music battles. So let's go to the game mode. I do have a project that I did a timer because I don't remember clearly how I did it, but let's use the other project as reference. Let me get a quick recap. One second. What did I do for timer? Did you do it on oh, here you go. So I did do it on the game state. It just shared with the server and the client. All right, first thing first, let's make a function at a custom event, call it start timer. We're gonna make this server run on the server only. We don't want clients to control the timer, call it, then start the timer and begin play. Put the node, put it in there, and then let's add a delay. Make it one second, then make a variable. That way we can control if the timer has started or not make a boolean call it i guess you can say timer question mark drag it out get it make sure the timer is set to false which it is and let's get let's start with the integers round timers and one round minutes seconds the variable type to here another one call it round and it's an integer perfect actually we gotta make it a float and you're dealing with time seconds it has to be a float Okay, so first thing first, what we can do is when the seconds, grab the seconds. Um, let's see, what did I do on my, I guess, um, if this is set to true, when the timer starts, we're going to make it so it will check those round seconds. And if it's equal to zero seconds, we're going to want it to check something else. So here we'll set it to true, right just over here. And then if that's true, but if it's Fault, we'll need to lower the seconds so what we'll have to do is get the round seconds set it drag it to the false and then we're gonna subtract one second each time this ticks track one second to the second variable here make this neat that have that this triggers when it's false perfect now if this is true we gotta hit we gotta start subtracting the minutes so what we need to do here is create another branch we're gonna check if minutes are zero. We get the minutes equal to zero minutes. We're gonna want to, let's see, it's equal to, well, let's take care of the false. So we're gonna have to, let me see, get the seconds. Now we'll have to set the seconds, okay, to 59. So obviously, when, when you lower, when you subtract a minute, 59 seconds, so then we're gonna set the minutes. Might be all confusing at the beginning, but it'll make sense once it once it's been displayed. So here we're gonna subtract one from round minutes. Okay, double so we'll check our work. 
59 seconds, set it to 59 seconds, and we'll subtract the minute. Perfect. Now here, if it's true, we can, we can start the game, something like that. Whatever event we're gonna do, start or uh, restart. Hammer right there. I guess we can have it print okay. for now. Print. I guess we could say timer finish. Yeah. Now since the timer should be shown for client and server, they need to be replicated. Replicated. All right. So let's test out these. Test this out. This will be delayed by one second. So what we can do is for now print seconds. Print the minute. We'll run a print node and a print node for the second print. And I incorrectly put it on the wrong spot. Remove the second duration and remove it from the duration. And let's color code it. For minutes, let's do, I guess, blue. Now let's do greenish. For seconds, we'll do yellow. All right. I'll see how this works. So I guess it starts off at zero because seconds and minutes are not set set to zero so let's do two minutes and for seconds let's do 50. Two minutes 50. I'll play. So I only ran once okay okay so it has to be on a tick not a begin play. Let's start the timer on the tick. tick and let's drag this over here. Try it when it comes to multiplayer games try to avoid event tick at all costs. So for now let's let's use it. <laughs> Later on, I'll do some best practice stuff. This is just to get our timer up and running. So as you can see, it is triggering, but the seconds are not lowering. Clearly there's something wrong. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so perhaps we have not set the timer to start. And we'll do that over here. That later on, we'll have it set via function or, or something. We'll have this being triggered by maybe a character overlapping something. We'll see. Hit play. 49 seconds, 47 seconds, 46. So as you can see, the seconds are lowering. Let's see what happens when we reach zero seconds. Hopefully it subtracts a minute and goes back to 59 seconds. 29, 28, 27. By the way, let me play some music. And it went one second and 59 seconds. Perfect. That's exactly how we want it to work. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four three two one zero perfect that's exactly what we need all right the next thing we're gonna create a custom hud so we can show the timer in order to do this we'll go back to our player controller actually we'll go back to the content and then we'll start working on our hud go to game logic to create this we'll go to user interface and then widget blueprint and call it user widget please custom hud and hud widget Perfect. Yeah. So we'll stick with the HUD widget for now. Make a Canva, Canva panel. Perfect. Here we can stick some. This is where we're gonna stick the timer. Add some text. So here we'll display the minutes. One place where this will be the colon for the second. We'll add the seconds. So we can add the placeholder. Add those seconds. Perfect. Now it looks like a timer. We're gonna anchor these texts to the middle. Yeah, here you go. Top middle. Perfect. Currently just eyeballing it. It's not accurate as it can be. Actually, like I'm gonna engine it comes with it that long. That long either. Perfect. Alright, so now that we have our placeholders, now we can start adding blueprints by clicking on the minutes. What we're gonna do is look for right here, create binding. So here we can add our own custom variable. So what we're gonna do is cat get game mode okay once we got the game mode we got to cast it to the game mode we created which is dp dp game mode and I drag it here and connect it well obviously since this is this is for the minute we're gonna get round minutes and we're gonna stick it here as the output pal we're gonna go to the seconds and create a binding for this again we're gonna we could just copy this and we'll paste it here from here and we're gonna get the second system around and pile and let's test if this works nope because first of all we haven't changed the hud we're no longer gonna use the wb hud because we're gonna make it all custom now we can use the hud widget file and let's also remove the annoying print screens that we did at the beginning or this i'll just leave it here for now Maybe I'll use it later. 
anyways let's play it and voila we have our official timer excellent like my timer look magic right no i just want to see it go to the next minute mm, i gotta fix that but technically it's working i just gotta add an extra zero perfect let me see if i can fix the zero issue let's see what i can do to alleviate the zero. i'll work on it in a minute but for now since we created our own hud i want to map over the gas mana and stamina in order to do that i go to the design here we're gonna add our own progress bar i guess we can add it here this will be our health and then we'll make it 100 percent for now and then we'll duplicate this and create make it blue create stamina and let's label these so we won't get confused See here call it health we can call it health bar now since we're using gas we gotta start using I use their functions. Give me a minute so I can remember. First thing first, let's create a binding. And we're gonna add the value. That's for a color and opacity, so we don't need that. Remove it by undoing it. Oh, here we gotta create blueprints for the percentage. So get the value. I have to get your controller. Give me one second while I recap. But this one, what I did was I got game mode. Timer. Okay, now I remember. Here we can delete this function. We don't need this one. That one. This function, what we're gonna do is get owning player, get controlled pawn, because the pawn is what has the ability module. Here we're gonna do BP main character. Perfect. From here we can grab our character's attributes by getting the GS score, gas score, I guess. From here, get divided by divided by a hundred. Since the max HP is 100, I put it in here and we should get the 88. And it's not working. Let's see what's going on here. Turn out the health just so I can get an idea of what's going on. Something's not mapping over. Character. Oh, I forgot to add this module. module. So now, with this, we can get our attributes. Delete everything we did. Get core. Get health. Get it by 100. Under it here, let's get a visual and let's get the variable. Hmm. Maybe because we didn't compile it. Save, compile, play it. There you go. 80 was our HP, and visually you can see it's at perfect. Now let's set all of them and we can call it a day. Close this, and this. So we clean up our code and let's copy this so we can start creating percentage for the other bars like mana. Mana, let's create a binding for mana. Enlarge this a bit, paste it, drag it over here, drag it over here. Instead of health, we're gonna get the mana and we'll put it here. We set the mana to we get 100%. Let's double check that by going to our main character. From main character, to see our attributes, we can click on this and we have originally set it to 100%. And stamina should be at 50. Perfect, it's at 100% now. Stamina should be at 50. So we're gonna go back to the design. Now we're gonna work on the percentage by creating the banging. Moving it to the right, pasting it here, dragging it here, dragging it here. I'm gonna delete the mana and we're gonna get the stamina. Oh, one minute. So in theory, this should be 50%, and it's not. See why? Oh, because I forgot the division. Okay, let's see. Here, I forgot the division for here too. So, I'm gonna copy this, paste it here, here, and here. Remember, the max is 100. So, as you can see, the max stamina, the max mana, falls to 100. So, make sure you keep it to 100 so the percentage can be accurate. Now, we're gonna do that here as well. I'm gonna paste it here. I'll run the game. Voila! We got 50%. For stamina, 100% for mana, and 80% for health. Call it a day. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Hasta luego. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want to see the raw version, click on the video to the left. And for more videos, click to the video to the right. And if you really love what you see, support me by visiting my Perkin merch website in the description below.